So guys, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to ice pick, uh, ice pick grind. So um, pretty much what you want to do for the ice pick is you want to know how to manual because ice pick grind is um, you're grinding on basically one of your pegs, your back pegs. So I grind to the left side and pretty much the main tips for ice pick is have your balance point with manuals because that's going to help you when you get on it um, to balance an ice pick. So pretty much if you fail at doing ice picks then you're going to land into a feeble and um, how to prevent that is when you're going at an ice pick so When you're going uh, to attempt an ice pick, you don't want to start uh, doing your ice pick grind right here. Try learning to grind at first, like all the way at the end, just so that you could at least get like a little bit off, like just a little bit. Um, and pretty much what you want to do is, to prevent yourself from dropping into the feeble position, go into the ice pick as if you were about to do a double peg. So go at it like straight, and when you double peg, you hop, and you dip a little bit and you drop your uh, two pegs on. But when you ice pick, you wanna do the same exact thing, but instead you just wanna shift your weight back. And instead of dropping that peg down, you wanna sorta of lean back and you wanna, um, so you pretty much you just wanna hop, get level, and then drop your back in, like drop your knees. And as soon as you drop your knees, your bike is gonna drop like that. And then all you're gonna wanna do is lean back, stick your knees out. You're gonna to wanna to balance out with your knees, just like fight it out with your knees. And um, it's pretty much all in the knees and elbows. You wanna have that locked, just like you do in a manual. When you're doing a manual, you know, you lean back. Um, you have your knees popped out and your elbows are all like locked out and you're all just like in that manual position. Same thing with the ice pick. You just wanna hop, hop straight, um, aim your front peg, almost like a double peg, but just drop your back peg. And then you're gonna lean back, elbows, um, Elbow is kind of bent, not straight, just bend it out. Your knees bent too, lean back and just try to find your balance point. Um, like I said, you want to start off doing the ice pick like at the end of the ledge. And then once you find your, like once you keep doing that, you could start like at the middle. You could try uh, getting your balance point longer and longer. That's what I did and um, pretty much I would do the whole bench, but it's just wet and I keep getting wet everywhere. Like every time I ride by, so I just did half. Um, Ice picks are pretty fun. You could uh, after you learn to ice pick, you could do ice pick to bar spin, which is pretty fun. I'm gonna try those soon. Uh, you could do ice pick 180s, ice pick hard 180s, ice pick threes. Um, that's pretty hard. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. If that's, yeah, that's really hard. Um, but there's a few variations. You could do ice pick to Smith. You could do Smith to ice. There's just a bunch of variations you could do with it. Uh, ice pick down ledges is actually really easy and fun. Um, when you're doing it down a ledge. You don't want to, um, all you want to do is you don't want to lean back too much, otherwise you're going to fall back. The same thing with this, if you lean back too much, the bike will just fly up. But if you don't lean back, what's going to happen is your front end is going to drop. And I don't recommend you um, ice pick any rails before you get uh, ice picks on lock on ledges. Because if you go ice pick a rail and you don't lean back too much, you're going to drop your front end and you're going to fall in your face. I had a scar on my uh, elbow, on my elbow, my eyebrow. Because I, um, when I first learned ice picks, I wanted to try it on a rail. And I, I didn't lean back too much, so my front end dropped. And then my peg hit me in the eye because I like, turned around and it hit me. So, um, yeah, you just want to pretty much find your balance point in the ice pick before you go to rails or um, anything scary, Dave. And uh, I just recommend learning it on something low, something like a bench, uh, stem height or below. Uh, pre preferably below stem height. And yeah, again, you just hop, drop your back end, pop your knees out, and it's all about leaning back. Leaning back and popping your knees out and just fighting it and uh, fighting to get your balance point. And that's pretty much it. Do that, practice it, get your balance point, and then go for rails, down rails, up rails, whatever. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.